Good day. I am Georgie Ann Birehensha. For today, I am going to discuss this circuit, which is the amplifier frequency response. For today as well, I am going to determine the voltage collector, voltage bias, and the voltage emitter, as well as the voltage output. Also, I am going to get the waveform showing the voltage, frequency, and the phase shift. Now, we are going to get the values of the voltage collector emitter base and the voltage output by clicking the simulate, edit simulation, DC op, PNT, OK, and then clicking the run. Now, it shows the values of the voltage base collector emitter and the voltage output. And now, then copy. To see later for the waveform. We now then proceed in showing the waveform by clicking Edit Simulation CMD, AC Analysis. The type of sweep sweep is decade, number of points per decade is 101, start frequency is 10, stop frequency is 109. Okay, then click Run. We now then tap VC, and this is the waveform of the voltage collector. To see what frequency of the voltage collector is, we will now zoom in the voltage to 16. Point four. So this is sixteen point estimated sixteen point four and it shows that the frequency is sixteen point two hertz wherein its phase shift is this one two hundred thirty one degrees. Then and now we are going to get the waveform of the voltage output by clicking the simulate edit simulation with the AC analysis type sweep of decade 101 for number of points per decade start frequency is 10 and stop frequency is 100 meg and then OK click run and click V out so this is this is the waveform of the voltage output and to determine the voltage gain is click the linear for the magnitude and then click OK. So as you can see, the voltage gain is approximately 49 with a frequency of 1 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz. And the phase shift of 100, approximately 100 degrees.